today we are going to discuss about a very important term used in the genetics and that is known as the allele. This allele is also called as the allelomorph and this allele term was first of all used by Batson in the year 1905. Now this allele term is very important but there is a lot of confusion between the students that what is in real sense the allele. Because in many books up till today, the old definition is written. Okay, so what is allele in true manner that we'll be discussing today. Now, allele are two Mendelian factors or the genes which occur on the same locus in a homologous chromosome and they are controlling the expression of a character in an individual. Okay, that is called as the allele. Now say for these are the alleles shown in a homologous chromosome. So you can see that these are the alleles present on the same locus on the chromosome and they are for the length of the plant. And say for these are the alleles which are present on the same locus on the homologous chromosome and they are for the flower color. Means alleles are actually two Mendelian factors which occur on same locus on the homologous chromosome and they control the expression of character in an individual. Okay, means alleles are present in pairs but only in the case of the gametes a single allele is found otherwise in the diploid organisms always the alleles are found in a pair. Now earlier the term allele was used for the factors representing the two alternative forms of a trait means a allele represent two alternative form of a trait say for capital T small t is a allele capital T represents the tallness and small t represents the dwarfness okay so they are representing the height of the plant okay capital Y small y capital R small r so all these are the alleles we can also represent allele as genes which code for a pair of contrasting trait genes which code for a pair of contrasting trait say for capital T small t is a pair of contrasting trait so genes which are genes which are coding for a pair of the contrasting traits are known as the alleles means alleles are slightly different forms of the same gene say for capital T small t is a allele in the case of height of the pea plant and capital Y small y is a allele in the case of seed coat of the pea plant but these definitions were used earlier now what is the present definition used for the allele so you must know very well that it's not necessary that always the allele will be representing a pair of contrasting trait sometimes the allele may represent a pair of similar trait okay means what i want to say that it's not necessary that capital t small t capital y small y capital r small r are only the alleles it is also possible that capital y capital y small y small y small t small t is also representing a allele say for when we represent a homozygous condition and a heterozygous condition what we say say for these are the homozygous conditions say for these are the homozygous condition so what definition we say for the homozygous condition means a homozygous condition is a condition in which there is a pair of similar allele present it means we can say that this is a pair of a similar allele but what we say for the heterozygous condition in heterozygous condition we say a pair of dissimilar allele. So this is a pair of dissimilar allele. So altogether we can say that the allele term is used for any two forms of a gene. They may be similar or dissimilar. They may be similar or dissimilar. Okay. But the condition is that they must be present on the same locus on the two homologous chromosome and they represent the same trait. Okay. Now one more thing, each gene consists of an allelomorphic pair. Each gene consists of an allelomorphic pair. Means it may be capital Y, capital Y, capital Y, small y, 
small y small y capital T capital T capital T small t small t small t in each and every cell of a diploid organism there is a pair of allele of a trait means all the diploid organisms are having a pair of alleles of a particular trait but gametes contain only one allele of a pair so uh, this was the video based on the allele or the allelomorph thanks a lot for watching me hope so you have liked the video if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take